Hello Aries. Here's a reading for you for May 2018. Uh, sorry if you hear my nose when I'm speaking, but I'm allergic to something that is blooming now. And, um, this running nose is something absolutely inevitable for me. So, uh, I've already shuffled the cards, I'll just cut them. This reading is for you if you have your Sun, Moon or Rising sign in the sign of Aries. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. It doesn't have to resonate. Check your other signs always. <clears throat> and remember that the future isn't set in stone. I'm not reading the future here. I'm reading energies. And you can work with energies always. That's what's so beautiful and funny about them. That they they change and we may influence them. And remember, don't ever give up the control over your life to anyone or anything, especially to me or any other tarot reader. Okay, now we can start. <laughs> Okay, please guide me for Aries for May 2018. It's here. Let's look at the center of your reading representing you, Ace of Cups. Beautiful new beginning in emotions and love. Open heart. <laughs> Uh, in your head, the lovers. So this can be about love, but it also can be about choice, important choice. In your past, we have King of Cups. Your challenge is Two of Swords, so making a decision. Differences between your head and your heart. What's the answer? Five of Wands. The answer to the challenge is Five of Wands. Uh, your strength is Six of Swords. So moving on through difficulties. In the position of your area of focus, what should you focus on? The Tower. And the last card that can be an outcome, can be an advice, can be an insight. We have Five of Cups. And I won't leave it like that. I want another card. Four of Wands. <laughs> so, something good waiting for you after a short period of grief. Let's look what's at the bottom of the deck. We have Five of Pentacles. So another difficult energy. Energy of luck of something. And the Hanged Man. And the Judgment. So, some difficult times here. <clears throat> we also have the world. <clears throat> so it all can be successful in the end, especially that I feel that the worst is over when I look at this reading. The worst is over, although you still may feel uh, the repercussions, the echoes of difficult times. That's why all those fives are here. Five of Cups, Five of Wands, you also have Five of Pentacles. So. Uh, that's kind of a turning point for you here. Perhaps not. It hasn't emerged in the way you would like it to. It's not perfect. It's, I feel it's far from perfect. But it is here. It's already here. It is already here. And you cannot deny it. You cannot postpone it. Something might have come earlier than you expected. Something new. And beautiful. For some of us, this is uh, a child. For some of us, this is 
uh, pregnancy. Some of you, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying some of us. Uh, something new, creative, beautiful, uh, heart overflowing with love. I think for some of you this came too soon, but here it is. And you need to do something about it. You need to make important life decisions over this. And it won't wait. You need to do it now. And this can be a challenge as you hesitate. You don't know what to do. There is this state when you need to uh, be quiet and focus what's within you. What to choose here with two of swords? What's the answer uh, to, to this life choice here? But you'll overcome, although it may not be <clears throat> easy. It seems that you need to take many things under consideration. Here in this Five of Wands card, we have five wands sprouting from the earth and they are going in the same direction. But um, in a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, we have five different vectors of movement here. So this is a little cha chaotic. You don't know which direction is the proper one. And I feel that uh, in this situation, you need to withstand uh, polarities. You need to withstand many different directions within you and gather them, them all and uh, take them all into consideration, which is extremely difficult, I feel. That's not an easy situation. But I need to draw one more card here for you, Aries. Uh, sorry, Aries, yeah. What's with this Two of Swords? Two of Swords. Three of Pentacles. So I think it's about creation. Um, working together with something and creating something more than you too. Uh, hmm. One more card. It may seem, it may say, stick to your work. Don't give up on your work. Don't give up on your opus. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is someone acting very uh, impulsively. Uh, not thinking too much. So this may be and advice for you to to choose whatever comes to mind first without overthinking this. And these energies are like that. They are incoherent. They are chaotic. But this will smooth out, I feel, after some time. Now you just need to stick to your work. Perhaps choose uh, the easiest way here. Choosing the easiest way is the best thing to do in... The situation of scarcity of something. I feel there is scarcity here. Lack of energy, lack of resources, lack of time perhaps. Choose the easiest way is what I feel here. Especially that uh, I, I usually don't see it like that. But this time I see this as a person in your life. A very important one with which you co-created something here. And this is the result. This open heart. And the lover's card also may indicate that this is an important pe pe uh, person in your life. You should take into consideration whatever you're choosing here. This can also be uh, an important factor, what this person has to say about it. And I feel you will overcome uh, your obstacles because your strength is six of swords, swords, the ability to overcome obstacles, the ability to move on move on to smoother waters. It will sort, your, so, sort itself out, I'm sure. That's, that's a very surprising card in a position of uh, focus, the tower. 
um, it's not a bad card. Uh, I think there are some notorious cards in tarot, and this is one of them. Seven of Swords is another. People are afraid of the tower. They are afraid of death, and the death card, the devil card. But all cards in tarot have pros and cons. They all have a dark side and, and, and light side. So the tower, of course, it is destructive, but it's not negative. Uh, it's not the same. Being destructive and being negative are not the same uh, qualities. So the tower sweeps everything out, everything that was your prison. Uh, I often see the tower as a prison that became too narrow for you. You don't, it, it doesn't contain you anymore. It cannot, because it's too small. And if you don't free yourself from it, lightning will come and will free you anyway. So focus on the freedom that it brings, the freedom that uh, is brought with destruction. Something, some, some things need to be destroyed in order to make place for other things in your life. Perhaps for make place for this Ace of Cups. So, um, be decisive, be quick in this. Um, I even hear the word ruthless sometimes. And I feel losses are inevitable here. Five of Cups. I think it's an insight for you. Losses are inevitable, but they are already here. It already happened. Something has already happened. And of course, there is time for crying. There is time for despair. There is time for mourning. Uh, remember that two cups are still there. That's important here. Now you're perhaps focused on the past, on what you've lost. And it's okay to cry over it. Uh, but not for too long. Not for too long. Let yourself feel what you feel. But then remember about what's left and focus on what's left. Focus on building the new things. Free yourself from the past and then move on. Especially that you have beautiful card of uh, home here. A refuge, sanctuary, happiness, marriage. And this is very much connected with this ace, with these doves here. Uh, this one also has a dove. It's the same dove in all these three pictures. So I feel together with this person or with this quality, uh, your heart remains open no matter what, and you'll build something for you, something stable, something something beautiful and full of joy and happiness. After perhaps hard times, after some losses, as I said, which are inevitable here in this situation. But as I said, I feel the worst is over. Now you just need to readjust to a new situation. Take your lessons. You'll be successful. The world is the card which says the end is nigh, the end is near. And something new is coming and you needed to learn all those lessons in order to achieve next level in your life. So that's the reading for you, Aries. I hope it makes sense for you. Um, and I wish you a beautiful month full of good choices full of uh, beautiful new things emerging in your life. Thank you for your time, and I wish you all the best. See you in the next reading. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing. I forgot one card from uh, Shamanic Healing Oracle. Uh, <laughs> I feel you need it. Okay, one card for Aries for May 2018. Please show me one card of advice for Aries 
forgiveness. Number 23. It's been said, forgiveness is the greatest gift we can give ourselves. Forgiveness of others, but also forgiveness of self. We are the most critical and judgmental of ourselves. This inner critic does so much more harm than criticism that comes from others. Forgive yourself for trusting others and getting hurt, for not knowing, for not seeing, for not believing. You are human and you are growing and learning. Human perfection is rooted in imperfection. This card indicates the need for forgiveness in the situation asked about. So whatever comes too fast here, forgive yourself this and all other things. Okay, now we have it all. <laughs> Thank you once more and see you in next reading. Bye-bye.